Bioluminescence, the wonderful illuminating phenomenon. Welcome back to our channel, Nature Enthusiast. Today, we have an illuminating topic to explore, bioluminescence. Join us as we delve into the mesmerizing world of living organisms that produce and emit light. From the twinkling fireflies to the mysterious deep-sea creatures, we'll showcase the fascinating ways in which these organisms utilize bioluminescence. Before we dive into this video, kindly hit like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And now, let's get started. Bioluminescence is a captivating phenomenon that occurs when living organisms produce and emit light through a chemical reaction. It is a type of chemiluminescence, which is simply a chemical reaction that produces light. For a reaction to occur, species must contain the chemical compound luciferin, a molecule substrate that when it reacts with oxygen, produces a magnificent dazzling light. There are a variety of luciferin, which differ depending on the animal hosting reaction. Many organisms also produce an enzyme, the catalyst luciferase that speeds up the reaction. Animals can closely control when to produce light by regulating their chemistry in brain processes depending on their immediate needs, whether a meal or a mate. Some organisms even bundle the luciferin with oxygen in what is called a photoprotein, like a prepackaged bioluminescence bomb that is ready to light up the moment a certain iron. Typically, calcium becomes present. They can even choose the intensity and color of the lights. It's a remarkable ability found in various species across the animal kingdom. One of the most iconic examples of bioluminescence is the firefly. When oxygen reacts with calcium, adenosine triphosphate, and the chemical luciferin with the catalyst luciferase, a bioluminescent enzyme, light is produced. The firefly's emitted light is a cold light, which differs from the light bulbs that produce a lot of heat with light. A significant note is that fireflies can never stand to leave if their light organ heats up every time it gives off light. A firefly controls the beginning and end of the chemical reaction, resulting in light emission, by adding oxygen to the other chemicals needed to produce light. This happens in the insect's light organ. With the presence of oxygen, the light organ lights up and when it is not available, the light goes out. Fireflies do not have lungs, but instead transport oxygen from outside the body to the interior cells through a complex series of successively smaller tubes known as tracheoles. To maintain a high flash rate, even at the relatively slow speed of the firefly's muscle that controls oxygen transport. Nitric oxide comes in and plays a critical role in firefly flash control. With the help of nitric oxide gas, oxygen is allowed to flow into the light organ where it combines with the other chemicals needed to produce the bioluminescent reaction because nitric oxide breaks down very quickly as soon as the chemical is no longer being produced. The oxygen molecules are again trapped by the mitochondria and are not available for the production of light. These enchanting insects use their light-producing organs for a variety of reasons. The larvae produce short glows primarily during the night as warning displays to communicate their distastefulness. Adults, on the other hand, have flash patterns unique to their species to identify members and to discriminate between members of the opposite sex. These flash pattern characteristics of male fireflies are used during courtship to win over female fireflies. Higher male flash rates, as well as increased flash intensity, are more attractive to females in two different firefly species. The adult fireflies of some species are not luminous at all, however, and instead use pheromones to locate mates. However, some species employ both pheromonal and luminous components in their mating systems. These species appear to be evolutionarily intermediate between the pheromone-only fireflies and flash-only fireflies called lanterns to attract mates. 
The rhythmic flashes emitted by male fireflies serves as a unique form of communication during courtship. Fireflies are not the only creatures that utilize bioluminescence. In the depths of the ocean, another spectacular display of light takes place. Jellyfish such as the beautiful and ethereal Aquaria Victoria emit a soft green glow. This jellyfish makes use of another type of protein enzyme called photoprotein. Instead of luciferase, specifically it uses echorine. When calcium ions are added, it only produces a brief flash of light, and the blue light released by echorine in contact with the calcium ions is absorbed by a green fluorescent protein, which in turn releases green light in a process called resonant energy transfer. This bioluminescence helps them attract prey and serves as a defense mechanism against predators. But it's not just fireflies and jellyfish that possess this incredible ability. The darkest parts of the ocean are home to an array of astonishing bioluminescent organisms. Deep sea fish, like the anglerfish, a member of clade the Fireformis, have evolved a specialized appendage called an elishu topped with a bioluminescent lure called a nesca. This unique adaptation lures unsuspecting prey out of the dark and gets closer enough to the fish's razor-sharp teeth. The angly structure evolves from the spines of the fish dorsal fin. The end of this structure is inhabited by large numbers of bioluminescent bacteria which provide the anglerfish with its glow. Beyond fireflies, jellyfish, and deep-sea fish, there are many other examples of bioluminescent organisms. Some fungi, bacteria, and even certain marine plankton exhibit this awe-inspiring phenomenon. Scientists believe that these adaptations have evolved for a variety of reasons, including attracting mates, deterring predators, and camouflaging in the darkness. Bioluminescence truly illuminates the wonders of nature. It reminds us of the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on Earth. While we've only scratched the surface of this captivating subject today, we encourage you to explore further and discover more about these extraordinary and wonderful organisms. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of bioluminescence. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into the natural world. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious!